Hey, what is going on guys? It is Colin from CSP Tech here, and for over a year now, I've been using the CM Storm Quickfire TK as my main keyboard. It's MX Tray Blue Mechanical Keyboard, I absolutely love it, it's got backlighting, but I have had some gripes with it in terms of the numlock feature and stuff like that. You guys might know what I'm talking about if you own this keyboard. Great keyboard, and I still recommend it, but I've been looking for a new keyboard for a little while now. So when Ola, a company, reached out to me to send me one of their keyboards and test out, I decided to take a look and see if it will replace the CM Storm Quickfire TK that's been on my desk for over a year now. So just going over the packaging real quick, it's, it's quite nice actually. The spider logo on the top is pretty cool. This is the SI2012 model. It's a professional gaming mechanical keyboard. Um, and then if you turn around to the sides and the back, there's not a whole lot, just a few logos here and there. Everything's mostly in Chinese. Forgive me if I didn't get it right and it's not actually Chinese. Don't kill me. But we have a few things on the back here. Uh, concise design, one integrated metal panel, stainless, scratch resistant. Love the language and the translation. But the one thing that got me was this multicolor backlight on the back here. Looks great. I couldn't really figure out how to get it to light up, but I'll talk about that in a second. Talks about the four color switch options, which are, I don't think they're actually cherry. They are looking like cherry, but I think they might be kale switches. They feel pretty close to cherry, but I could be wrong. So what is my opinion on the keyboard so far? As this is just an overview video so far, I've only been using it for about three days now, but I'm pretty sure I got my main opinion of it, uh, but I'll give it another few weeks, maybe a month to use it, and uh, I'll come back with a second video or an update to this video. <clears throat> so about three things I don't like on it. Um, the key travel distance is a little bit longer than my CM Storm, which is fine. It makes for a really long press, which is nice because it's a good tactile press, but it is, I'm so used to the shorter key press that I actually find myself missing letters sometimes because I'll just skip over them because I thought I pressed it, but I actually haven't. Obviously these are all personal preference things, but second of all, the enter key is a big enter key this time. It's not like a longer um, horizontal bar, kind of like a, a shift key, uh, where in the CM Storm it is. Uh, so I've been pressing the backward slash a lot of the time instead of actually the enter key, which is not always good. Um, and the third thing is just there's no backlight. Uh, it said on the box that there was, but I emailed the company and said, hey, I can't figure it out because on their other models, you have to hit um, function and then like the number five on the number pad, but this one doesn't have a number pad, so I figured it didn't. But they said it just doesn't have backlighting, even though the keys look like they have backlights in them. So I don't know, maybe it's just a feature that doesn't get to be turned on or anything, but it just doesn't have backlighting, which for me is almost a deal breaker actually. The typing experience has been pretty good so far so I'm gonna give it a little bit of time before I decide fully but this keyboard has been pretty good so far and for the price you can get it at it's actually not that bad. I don't know if it's actually Cherry MX switches. I think it is but it doesn't say on the box so if it is it might be a kale switch or something like that but if you guys are curious for sound quality or typing quality this is a difference between my old keyboard and this one right now. That is pretty much going to be it for the quick overview of the Ola SI2012 mechanical keyboard. It's not bad so far, and if you guys are looking to pick up this keyboard, I'll leave a link in the description where you guys can buy it, but I will wait to my full review. I'm pretty sure I know the answer already, but I'm going to wait to my full review to see if my thoughts change out on it, and uh, that's be going to be pretty much it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I shall see you guys in the next video. Take care.